drive online traffic to your local store, then Google Local Products Inventory is one of the best ways to target your potential local customers. Because with Google Local Products Inventory, you can promote your products and shop information to the nearby Google searchers. They will see your opening hours, location, and current stock of your products. And once they click on any of your products, they will be redirected to your store and you are more likely to drive more sales. Hey everyone, this is Sadia from Productive Manager and in this video, I am going to show you how you can generate an accurate product feed for Google Local Product Inventory. For that, you need the plugin Product Feed Manager for WooCommerce. So once you have installed and activated the plugin, you will see the product feed option on the dashboard. So when I hover the mouse, I will get these options. Now to generate your feed, click on Add New Feed option. It will take you to the feed creation page. Here at first, you need to give a title to your feed. So I'm just naming it as Google Local Feed. Now from the drop down, you need to select your preferred merchant. Here I'm selecting Google Local Products Inventory. This is the feed type option. You can select your preferable feed type from here. Now this is the section where you find all the required attributes for the Google Local Products Inventory. The first option you see here is the store code. It's basically the code you submit when setting up your Google My Business profile. It's a unique identifier that Google uses to refer your store's location. Here I'm assigning a random number to it. But you need to make sure your feed must match the store code you submitted in your Google My Business profile. Now the other attributes are product ID, price, quantity. You can see already values are assigned to them, but you can change them when you need to. You can also add some optional attributes like availability, sale price, sale price effective date to improve your local inventory as performance. You can also uh, create a new custom attribute using this option. Now, before publishing the feed, let me show you some settings and feed filter option. If you go to the settings option, you'll see the options are already configured, but you can change them if you need to. The first option you see here is the auto generate your feed option. This option you can use to schedule an auto feed update after certain intervals. But if you don't want that, you can leave the option as it is. Now let me go to the product filter options. Here you see feed rules, custom filter, category filter, tag filter, product filter. With these filters, you can exclude any products or include specific products in your feed. Right now let's leave them as it is. I'll demonstrate their use in a later video. Now it's time to publish your feed. For that, click on the publish button and your feed will start generating. Now the feed generation duration depends on how much products you have on your site. Once the loading is completed, your feed is ready. You can view the feed, copy the feed link and download the feed from here. Let's have a look at it. Now you can either send this feed to Google Merchant Center with the content API method or you can download the feed and upload it to your merchant account and list your products there. I'm leaving links to our talk at the description box so you can find out how you can do it. That's it for today. See you in the next video.